With the pull to refresh, you can refresh your data on Android. And secondly, we make use of the Cupertino Sliver refresh to make the same effect on the iOS system. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with a list view of data and we want to integrate our pull to refresh. And therefore I have here a list of data and also a list view where we simply put this data inside and based on this data we build then a text right now. Secondly, we determine here if the data is empty and if this is the case, then we want to show here a circular progress indicator in the middle. Next, we want to load some data so that the circular progress indicator disappears and therefore I go to the init state and here I create a method load list and inside of this method we want to load then some data and right now I'm simply imitating a real server so I simply generate here a list of data and here I want to generate 100 items and for each item we create then with this random object a number between 0 and 99. And now that we have 100 items generated, we simply want to put these data inside of our list. And now if I hot restart, you see that we have here all the data inside and these are 100 items. And secondly, we go to our list view and we want to implement this refresh. Therefore, I simply create here a new widget, refresh widget, which we want to create later together. And inside of it, we have a property on refresh. And here we put then this load list also inside. And within this method, you can later put your real functionality inside, like loading something from your server. Let's now create this refresh widget. And within this refresh widget, we get then the child, which is here the list of data. And secondly, this on refresh, which we later need to call every time if we pull and refresh. And we want to get started within the build method. And here we create first of all the Android pull and refresh. And within this method, we basically return here our child widget, which is here in this case, our list. And around it, we wrap then this refresh indicator. And this refresh indicator is then creating this pull to refresh, which is Android specific. And it also takes this property on refresh. And here we put then this on refresh callback inside. Let's also try it out. So I pull and refresh and you see he is loading then the new data. And you also can go here back to this load list. And here inside you can then also integrate your loading. So we want to simulate the loading and want to say that it takes 400 milliseconds. And when I pull to refresh, you see that it takes a bit longer and you can also put it, for example, to four seconds. And then this loading indicator will also show here up for four seconds. Let's go back to our refresh widget. And then we also want to integrate here our other list. And therefore we create this time an iOS refresh indicator. And here within this build iOS list, we create then a custom scroll view. And inside of the custom scroll view, you can add this Cupertino sliver refresh control. And this will then display here this Cupertino refresh indicator. And here inside, you also need to supply then this on refresh callback so that we can reload our data. And secondly, we want to put here our child inside, which is then our list of data. And because we make a use of slivers, you also need to put here the sliver to box adapter inside so that you can display here a normal widget. And before this implementation for iOS can work, we also need to go to our list view. And here within this list view, you need to add these both properties, shrink web to true and primary to false. And after this, you can pull to refresh and you see here this iOS indicator. And lastly, we want to combine both of this, the iOS and Android list. Therefore, we check here if the platform is Android, then we display here this Android list. And if we are on the iOS platform, then we display here the iOS list. And right now I'm here on Android. And if I pull to refresh, you see that we also have this Android looking indicator and he is then going here inside. We also want to look at how we can add a pull to refresh to a grid view. And secondly, we also want to look at how you can add this button so that you can programmatically refresh your list. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. 
And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better developer. Let's get started by displaying here on this page this refresh indicator and therefore I simply put here this icon button with this icon refresh inside. And if we click on this button, then we want to simply load our list and this is exactly the method which we have created initially. And now if I click on this button, you see he is always changing here our data. However, maybe you also want to display here the pull to refresh indicator while you click here on this button and while you are waiting. And to achieve this, we simply go to our refresh widget. And here inside, we create a global key of the refresh indicator state. And we simply put this key then inside of our refresh indicator. And with the help of this key, we can manipulate the refresh indicator state. And therefore, we go to our list view. And here inside, we create then a refresh indicator state global key. And then we go to the method load list, which is executed if we click on this refresh button. And here we then access over the key refresh our current state. And then you can execute the method show, which will then show the indicator. And lastly, you need to go to your refresh widget. And here you also need to add this refresh key. And now if I click here on this button, you see that the refresh indicator is showing up and it is giving the user some feedback that the data is loading. And also if we go to our load list and we increase here, for example, the loading time to four seconds, and then I click again on this button, you see it is also showing here up for four seconds. So our indicator is showing up until this feature is here completed. And lastly, if you want to use here some other scroll view instead of a list view, then you simply put here your grid view builder, for example, inside, which is also scrolling and make also sure that you put here this shrink web to true and the primary to false. And then also if you pull to refresh, you see here this loading indicator and everything works fine for Android and iOS. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.